Hi, I'm Julia, the founder of Ruby Roo Baby. I want to offer you a big thank you for purchasing one of our silicone teething necklaces. When I designed these necklaces, I wanted to make them comfortable for moms and babies. So I designed them with an exposed silky cord at the back so they would not pull your hair. One of the benefits of this exposed cord at the back is that you can adjust the length of your necklace. Adjusting the length of your necklace is really simple. I'm going to show you how. Adjusting the length of your necklace is really simple. All you need is your Ruby Roo silicone teething necklace and a sharp pair of scissors. The first thing you're going to want to do is try on your necklace, take a look in the mirror, see if you like how it falls. If you want it a little bit shorter, I have a short torso so I like mine a little bit shorter, just go ahead, look in the mirror, see where you might want it, and just with your fingers, you could use a measuring tape, gather it up just to the point where it looks good on you. Use a mirror here. That looks about good to me. Go ahead and take off your necklace. Take a look about how much you want to take off on each side. You want to keep it symmetrical. Okay. Get a good visual on that. Open up your teething necklace down. Actually, why don't we cut and... Once you've figured out how much you want to shorten your silicone teething necklace, go ahead and open the clasp. The clasp opens easiest if you kind of bend it in half as opposed to just pulling it apart. And take the cord, push it through the clasp. Let that clasp drop all the way down to the beads. Do the same thing on the other side. It just pushes up really easily. Drop it all the way down to the beads. Now you've got these little knots that were securing it. You're going to make new knots. Go ahead and make knots right where you would pinch the necklace first to gather it up. You might want to try on your necklace again at this point little less. Just go ahead and retie that knot just where you wanted it. Do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and match them up so you're getting it in the same spot so that your necklace remains symmetrical. Okay, that looks about good to me. At this point you probably want to try your necklace on again. Make sure that's the right length for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pinch it and hold the knots. That looks about good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and proceed. So, this is the moment of truth here where you're actually going to cut your necklace. Go ahead and cut just on the other side of that knot, leaving a little bit of tail so that the knot does not pull out. Using my sharp scissors, I'm going to do that. That tail is going to tuck right into the clasp. Next thing you want to do is take those clasps, bring them back up, pull it snug. It's going to secure your knot right in the clasp. And go ahead, put on your silicone teething necklace, and it's perfectly adjusted just for you. Again, thank you so much for buying these necklaces. If you have any feedback, if you have any questions or concerns about your necklace, go ahead and send us an email, julia at rubyroobaby. Also, be sure to visit our website, rubyroobaby.com. Sign up for our coupons. And also be sure to check your product packaging for the small insert card. It has a ad, uh, web address that you can go to to download our free ebook, Curry to Kale 10 Baby Food Recipes to Help Prevent a Picky Eater. Enjoy your silicone teething necklace.